Tonight, we're connecting the dots on DIY guns. All you need to make them is download a free file online and a 3D printer, then poof, a plastic gun that's just as lethal as the real thing. But hours ago, the release of the blueprints needed to make these guns was put on hold right before we went live. Now, Natisha Lance is here with the latest. Natisha? Well, Vinny, a battle over these 3D printed guns came to a halt tonight. A federal judge in Seattle issued a temporary restraining order to block the release of blueprints to make these 3D guns. Earlier this week, attorney generals from eight states and D.C. filed a lawsuit to block 3D gun blueprints from being downloaded online. Tweets posted after an afternoon hearing claimed victory for lawmakers at least until September. The 3D gun design files created by Defense Distributed have been available online and available for anyone to download since 2013. You don't have to register with anyone or report it to anyone. There's no numbers on these guns that you create. Until the State Department shut it down soon after. The reason that the State Department got involved, our only equity in this, is because of our role in controlling foreign access to U.S. defense technology. Wilson sued the government for violating his free speech and gun rights. In June, Wilson's company settled with the Trump administration, agreeing the blueprints could officially go back on their website on August 1st. That was until Washington State Attorney General Bob Ferguson filed a lawsuit, saying the plastic guns would give access to, quote, untraceable and undetectable weapons, regardless of age, mental health, or criminal history. In a statement, the NRA said, regardless of what a person may be able to publish on the Internet, undetectable plastic guns have been illegal for 30 years. TSA also said they will be able to detect and stop the guns. This is how the gun looks firing off. Experts say unlike traditional guns that can shoot thousands of rounds over a lifetime, the 3D printed guns normally last only a few rounds before they fall apart. And they're not cheap. USA Today reports the printers needed to make the gun can cost between $5,000 and $600,000. Well, our state was not part of that lawsuit, and as of yet, no one has responded to our email asking for comment, Vinny. So it's a divisive issue, but we'll see what happens coming up in September once they go back to court. Yeah, really, and a strange legal proceeding as well. It's basically, the government said we have no basis to stop you, which is why they settled the whole thing. But we'll see where it goes from here. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks so bet. much.